Hey guys, I have here the iPhone 15 Pro. I'm going to do a teardown of this device, starting with the removal of the screws at the bottom of the device. After that, I'm going to start the removal process of the screen. They added the USB-C, but it doesn't change anything in the teardown of this iPhone. In order to remove the screen of this iPhone 15 Pro, I started hitting the front of the device with the heat gun. In this video, I will be removing the screen of the device, the battery, and also show you how you can replace the back glass of the new iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. Before inserting any tools between the screen and the frame of the device, you need to hit the front of the device thoroughly in order to have a small gap by using only the suction cup. After you have that gap, you can insert a guitar pick between the front of the device and the frame of the device. You can see any cable that is attached to the screen is on the left side of the device and this is why you need to be careful not to insert anything far inside while you're trying to remove the screen. Damaging any of these cables is going to have a big impact on the device even if you were to change or replace the component that were broken. Most of the components inside the iPhone are programmed with the motherboard so if you were to replace either component you may have to reprogram those components to match the motherboard. The battery cable is the first cable to disconnect from the motherboard because if you do not do that and disconnect other cables, you may damage your device. After disconnecting the battery cable, I disconnected the cable from the screen and also the other cable at the top of the device. Here's the screen of the iPhone 15 Pro. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as the iPhone 14 Pro. They did change some of the material that they use in order to make the screen. This is why I have a small piece of the screen on the body of the device. The plastic that they use this time is less durable and fragile, and it is not like the one that they used in the previous iPhone. In order to remove the battery, you need to use the pull tabs. There are two pull tabs at the bottom of the battery and one at the top of the battery. The one at the top of the battery is easy to access but it got cut while I tried to pull on it and it is the smallest pull tab that we have under the battery. You can use a few drops of alcohol to help you remove the battery but for me I didn't use any alcohol I tried the pull tabs first. Unfortunately accessing the pull tabs at the bottom of the battery is almost impossible you need to remove a few components in order to access that pull tab. You need to remove a few screws to access the loudspeaker and after that remove two other screws in order to remove the taptic engine. The Taptic engine or vibrating motor share a screw with the speaker. This is why we only need to remove two. After that, disconnect the vibrating motor flex cable and after that, you can remove the vibrating motor from the inside of the device. The vibrating motor out, you have all the space now in order to undo the pull tabs and start pulling on it to remove the battery. So near the charging port, the new USB-C, you have two small pins for the back glass. These are for the back glass of the device and I will cover that in the back glass removal and replacement of this device later. Okay, now everything is back to its initial position. So I'm going to remove the camera and look at the camera of the new iPhone 15 Pro. I started by disconnecting two flex cables that are connected to the motherboard and they are going back to the camera. 
After that, I started to remove all the screws that are for the camera and I found one extra flex cable that is coming from the camera, disconnected that and after that, I can simply lift the camera out from the body of the device. Here's the camera for the iPhone 15 Pro. It looks a little bit like the older iPhone 14 Pro. It also has 48 megapixel main camera sensor. The other two are 12 megapixel. Two of the cameras have second generation sensor shift optical image stabilization. It is the 48 megapixel camera and the other 12 megapixel camera, the telephoto. Before reinstallation of the screen, I added a small layer of B7000 on top of the double-sided tape that is inside the device. At least this is going to make sure that the device stays sealed for a long time. But it is still not water resistant. The big update with this iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max is that the back glass is removable and it should be fairly easy to replace. I started by hitting the back glass of this iPhone 15 Pro for a little bit more than one minute and after that I took my suction cup and started to pull on the back of the iPhone. The double sided tape that Apple is using is very strong and after pulling on the back cover I had to insert my green scalpel. Right after that I started to hit the back cover of the device again and you can see I'm hitting precisely the bottom of the device because I want to detach that portion of the back cover first and after I have created a small gap I inserted my guitar pick and started to detach the back cover at the bottom of the device. I'm certainly confident that they could have removed all those pins that are on the back of the back cover and make the double sided tape only work in sealing the back of this iPhone 15 Pro. So there are pins at the bottom of the device, at the top of the device and also on the sides of the device. This is why it is a little bit more difficult to remove even if you have cut the double sided tape already. Initially I was thinking that in order to remove the back cover you will need to open the device and remove the screen and after that you can simply remove the back cover because you will have access to the pins on the inside of the device. But certainly you do not have to do that. You can simply remove the back cover by working on the back cover only. The only flex cable that is attached to the motherboard is on the side of the action button so you need to be careful in order to not insert the guitar pick far inside not to damage that flex cable. Since the flex cable is on the opposite side of the camera you need to open the back cover on the side of the camera. Before I can remove the back cover from the device there is one screw that needs to be removed. After removing that screw you can simply detach or disconnect the flex cable that is attached to the motherboard. Disconnecting the flex cable is very easy you simply need to hold the flex cable and pull on the back cover. So this is the removable back glass of the iPhone 15 Pro. As you can see, it is a single piece back cover that you can remove and replace. So on the back cover, we have the charging coil, the external microphone and the flashlight. All these components are linked together and they share the same flex cable that goes back to the motherboard. The first thing to do is to remove two screws that are holding the flashlight and the external microphone. These are two different screws that use two different screwdrivers. So after removing those, the next step is to remove all those components that are double sided tape glued to the back cover. So while doing this, you need to be a little bit careful not to damage any flex cable or anything that is connected to the flex cable while pulling on the graphite tape. This piece of black tape is for heat dissipation. It is going to help dissipate the heat that is created by the motherboard. Currently the microphone and the flashlight have been removed out of the back cover and after that I started to pull slightly on the wireless charging coil and as you can see it is getting removed out of the back glass. You can see right now the wireless charging coil, the flashlight and the external microphone are out of the back glass. The reinstallation of the component on the back cover is done and also the wireless charging is working fine. There is no issues that I can find. I simply realigned the pin that was removed with the other one and reinstalled it. I'm going to reuse that double sided tape in sealing the back of this device but I will consider this device no longer water resistant. It is time to reinstall the back cover on the frame of the device. So for the installation after the alignment of the back cover with the frame of the device, you simply need to apply a little bit of pressure on the back cover. I heard a lot of clicking sound while I applied pressure on the back cover and I thought the back cover got cracked but it is fine. <laughs> 